Hello class, this video is on exercise 4.8. This exercise is trickier than it seems, so the first thing I'm going to do is explain how, one easy way to enter the answers into your written exercise word file, and then secondly I'll look at some particular examples and uh, how you might think about answering them. First of all, let's look at the directions. It says, look at the Euler circle diagram on page 102. See where we would put these following 10 sentences. So you have 10 sentences in the blocks language, and what you're supposed to do is go back a couple of pages and see where those sentences would fit into this circle diagram. This diagram is really important. It tells you the fact that all tautologies are logical necessities. So this circle here is supposed to be um, giving you the space of all tautologies. Any sentence that is a tautology would fit into there. That's a subset of this other circle, the logical necessities. So some sentences are out here in this next ring. So those sentences like A equals A and B equals B are logical necessities, but they're not tautologies. But all tautologies, of course, are also in the bigger circle because it's nested within it. Next, some sentences are Tarski's world necessary truths, like every object has to be small, medium, or large, but that's not a logical truth and it's not a tautology. So some sentences go in this third ring. There's also a fourth space out here. So it might have been nice if the book gave us a sort of square so you could clearly see that there's a fourth delineated space. Things out here are none of the above. They're not Tarski's world necessities. They're not necessary in any way. So what you have to do is for those 10 sentences on exercise 4.8, figure out where they would go in such a diagram. Now what you could do is reproduce that diagram in your Word file, but that's not necessary, uh, although it might be kind of fun. You can just write out the 10 sentences and then use some kind of code to tell us which region they would go in. So for example, you could use A to encode being a tautology. The directions tell you a simple way to do it. So you could use A for tautologies, B for logical necessities, uh, C for Tarski's world necessities, and D for none of the above. It would be nice uh, for the grading if you could just reproduce what code system you're going to use. So I'll just copy and paste that here. So I would answer that this sentence here is a tautology. Uh, I would answer A here if I think that this sentence is a tautology. Or if I think it's none of the above, then I would enter a D here. So, that, so I'm just going to give you sort of, these are not the answers, but I would just give you something like this. Uh, you know, whatever I, code I put in here. Uh, as according to this. And then the grader is just going to look down your row and grade where, how you put them, uh, how you uh, answer which letters they belong to. So on that system, to just go back and look at the textbook, I'm saying this is region A in here, this region out here, this ring is B, this ring is region C, and then this extra void space out here is region D. Okay, so that's what you're supposed to be doing. Let's look back at some of the sentences. So sentence number one says A equals B. Well, is this sentence necessary at all, or is it not necessary at all? So, for example, would this sentence go in this void space out here, or would it go in one of these three circles? Well, the sentence is not a tautology, because after all, A equals B is an atomic sentence, and all atomic sentences uh, could possibly be false. As far as a truth table knows, they're going to get put in a reference column, and therefore they're going to get an F under them. So no atomic sentence is ever a tautology. Is it a logical truth? Well, it's possible that this is true, but it's not necessary that it's true. I could call one cube A, and I could call some tetrahedron B. So this is possibly false. Logic does not guarantee this is true. Indeed, Tarski's world doesn't even guarantee this is true. So since I think this is not true in any way, and not necessarily true in any way, then I would encode this region D. So similarly, you have to go through that sort of reasoning for the other ones. First, you have to ask, is this a tautology? Well, this is just two atomic sentences with a disjunction, so this is possibly false. This is not a tautology. But uh, is it a logical truth? Well, notice that this sentence is logically true. So what does a disjunction with one logically true disjunct mean? What you can do is you can use what I call the extended truth table reasoning method for exercise 4.3 to try to figure out whether this is a logical truth. So that technique that you learned previously will help you answer some of these. Now, some of these other sentences have a lot more connectives, so those first two are quite simple. But once you get into here, these sentences have a lot more connectives, so you have to go through that reasoning process. Firstly, is this a tautology? Do the connectives guarantee this is true? If the answer to that is no, then you have to think about, is any of the, is any of the individual parts of this logically necessary? So can we use that information? Or, failing that, the facts about Tarski's world. Tarski's world necessary truths are those sentences which are guaranteed to be true because of the uh, constraints of Tarski's world, does any of those constraints, like every object must be a tet, cube, or dodec, does any of those constraints about Tarski's world guarantee that the sentence must be true? That's the kind of reasoning and thought process you're supposed to be going through as you answer uh, each of these sentences. Again, some of them are tricky and they require a lot of thought, so take your time with this exercise. Um, and good luck.